Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today I will be pulling out individual cards that I actually bought recently. I got them all tucked away in a nice sleeve to protect them. It's a bunch of Pokemon cards I've got. Lately, I like shopping for Pokemon cards individually. They're a lot cheaper compared to getting box sets and other things, so I've been doing that lately. So, yeah, I've been wanting to go through these, show all these really cool cards I found. Even found some cards with actual nice sleeves. They just come with these, and the price does not seem to be affected. The price does not increase when I get these sleeves with them, so it's pretty awesome. Especially since I never got these particular series of box sets before. Only box set I've ever done is Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Pokemon Center Crydon. So these are cool. Got an Eevee one with a special Eevee card. Really nice. I had to get this because I love Eevee. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon has a star over here, so I guess it's rare. Really nice. And the place I do get these at is just a local store. And they always, the owner always makes sure that they're legit cards, not fake. So all of these are real Pokemon cards. Really cool. I love this Eevee card. I just had to get. And then I'm going to pull this out of sleeve. I even got a Pikachu over here. This is not the very first card. At first I thought it was. I got so excited and got it, but no. This is a, what year is it? 2016. So I think this was back when the Pokemon Company was bringing back the old classic Pikachu cards for a limited time. So, looks really cool. I've always wondered whether it's legit or not. I've looked it up compared. I do think this is a real card. It just, it looks so much different compared to cards I'm used to. Let me compare. So, um, they seem to be the same exact size. And it does have the information down here. So, I think it's a real card. Let me know how you could tell what you guys think? I think it's a real one. At least all the cards I've ever got in my local, they're all real. And I'm sure the owner knows how to distinguish fake cards from real ones. So, I couldn't help it. I like Chubby Pikachu. I've played a little bit of Pokemon Yellow on the 3DS. I got it before the eShop for 3DS shut down, and I just love chubby Pikachu. I think it's cute. Pikachu used to be just a bit chubbier in the original game. So, I had to get this card because I grew attached to the original Pika after playing a bit of that. So, it's a nice card, too. And I got this Volcarna. Really cool. I'm going to take out of the sleeve. These cards all were always in sleeves when I purchased them. Just to preserve their quality. It's really nice. So this is Volcarna. Really cool. I love this. I had to do this one because Volcarna... Well, actually, I got this from a gotcha. This wasn't picked individually. Sometimes I'll do gotcha machines for cards. Sometimes I'll just buy them at the front, so yeah. Just a little trading card place I like to go to. And I had to get the... Alright. I didn't buy this individually. I keep thinking I did, but no, I remember. I got this from a gotcha pool. And it was awesome because Volcarna... I used to rely on Volcarna all the time in Pokemon White version for the DS. So, this is a bug Pokemon I grew attached to, so it was awesome pulling this. 
by chance. So yeah, some of these I bought individually. Some of them were gotcha pools. Like I have this one. I believe this is a duplicate. I don't know. When I seen it, I'm like, I felt like I already had this one before. So yeah, a Cleaver V. It's a good card. It's a rare one. Has the... Oh my, this is so blurry. So yeah, the star, meaning it's rare. But I feel like I already got this one. So I'm putting it aside to double check in my card albums at another time. So I also got Golurk. Really cool. Another Pokemon Black and White Pokemon. It's a really nice one. It's a rare one too. All of these V cards always has a star for rarity. It's a single strike. It's a really cool one. Shiny reflective. It's amazing. I love all these shiny reflective cards. They're really awesome. And then just a few days ago, I went in and found a Bidoof. I don't know if it's Bidoof, Bidoof, uh, it could be either, but I adore Bidoof because they were my very first favorite Pokemon I could remember. I'd stare at their mm, Bidoof's card, the first two cards I ever had of Bidoof, I'd stare at them for hours. I'd craft a little teeny tiny Bidoof plush out of cotton and yeah, I adored this thing growing up, so it was cool finding a Bidoof card just for sale. So it was really awesome. I grabbed this. I so snatched it. It has a star for rarity. Pretty sure as long as this information at below is listed on a card, it's legit. So yeah, it's a really nice one. I love this one. It's really shiny, reflective, and I do like compared to regular cards. Let me pull out a regular card. You'll have a small image and a bunch of color in the background. This one takes up the entire, the picture actually takes the entire card up. So it's really decorative, really nice. I think I've seen this Bidoof many times, but I passed. I'm so glad I grabbed them this time. Really cool. Bidoof's such a cute Pokemon. Alright, and this one with Darkrai. It's really nice. Really nice sleeve. I don't know if I really have much use for the sleeves because I put all my cards in card albums. Like this one. I just put them in here. So I don't know if I have much use for the sleeves, but I do still like keeping them together. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Because I don't think they're as, they are able to fit in the card sleeves. But they're pretty and cool. I think it's awesome having them anyway. This one, I got an Eevee Max. Whenever I find or stumble across an Eevee card, I try to snatch them. Because Eevee's my favorite of the Pokemon characters. So this is Eevee V Max. So in Pokemon Sword and Shield, Pokemon are able to die Dynamax to turn into giant Pokemon on, in the stadium. Really cool. I love that feature in that game. And let me see. This is a promo card. It has a star meaning promo. So I believe this came with the, the Dynamax EV box set. I never really got. But I'm happy to have the card by itself. It's really awesome. Now let's look at this one. This one has the sleeve is Giratina. I don't know which box set this Giratina came from, but it's really cool. Sorry it got dirty, but yeah, it's a really nice card. 
And I found a Benelope. This was just being sold. I usually never ever see shiny Pokemon cards. I didn't even know that was a thing. I actually do have a few shiny cards I've got myself over the years, but I forget that sometimes you could pull shinies and Pokemon cards. Which shiny Pokemon are just Pokemon that's super rare, colored differently in the video games. I was so excited um, when I seen this. I'm like, oh wow, Pokemon shinies could exist in the card trading games too. So yes, I love this when I found this. And Benelby's just a cute Pokemon from Pokemon X and Y. It's really nice, has a star for being rare. Pretty cool. And I have one more pack of cards. I kept them all just in here to keep them protected. Got a Regigas. I really adore Regigas. I don't know why. As a kid, I just really liked Regigas. So I always... I kind of grabbed it because I usually don't see Regigas in trading cards. Ooh. I can't remember... Did I get this individually or through a gotcha? I think this one was a gotcha, maybe? I honestly don't remember, but it's a really cool one. It's Hisu and Deside, however you want to say its name. It's really nice. I'll take it out of the sleeve. Give everyone a closer look. It's really nice. Really pretty. Glimmers and shines a lot. It's a really cool card. Now I'll take the next card out of its sleeve. Ooh, Infernape. I forgot I got some of these. They're cool. I'll have to put them in my album now. I've been waiting to make this video. <gasps> oh, I dropped. I kind of just dropped Infernape on the floor. <laughs> yeah, be careful with Pokemon cards, especially if they're V cards. You do not want to be dropping these on the floor. But this is a promo card. And wow, it's really awesome. I just love Pokemon Sinnoh. It was the first region of Pokemon that was ongoing at the time when I got into Pokemon. So all of these Sinnoh characters are really nostalgic to me. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the next one and hopefully I don't drop it this time. So we got... Greedent V. I always liked this one. I used to bring this one in a lot of my Dynamax battles when starting out in Pokemon Shield. Just, for some reason, I love this cute little squirrel. They're chubby, they're cuddly, they're cute, and they have freckles. What's not to love about this one? It's, uh... Wait, where's the rarity? Um... Oh, I see. The star's right over here. I always like to look for those details. See how... To see how rare a Pokemon card is. It's really pretty. I like this one a lot. So there's that one. I think that was through a gotcha. I don't remember. <laughs> so some of these were through gotcha machine pools. Some of them I just actually bought out at front in a trading card shop. So this one. Crowbat. I can't remember. This may or may not be a duplicate. I don't remember. Sometimes when I see certain cards, I'll think, I have a duplicate of that, I think. Don't I have this card already? So with those, I just, I've been putting them aside, and I'm gonna double check my albums, all of them, to make sure that I don't have certain characters already. Because you never know. 
when you're a hardcore collector with these trading cards, it is easy to pull duplicates sometimes. If you collect enough of the cards, and if you get cards from chance when you're not the one deciding what you're gonna pull. So this card... Oh yeah, Rodham V. I got that from Gotcha. I remember. It's a really pretty card. Really nice. This one's a promo, as you could see over here. Promo. Um, where's the star rarity? Uh, does anyone see the star rarity? I only see promo. Uh, shouldn't it have a star? Or circle? Diamond or something to say how rare it is? Um, let me know in comments, is this a legit Pokemon card? I only see promo, I don't see a star, I don't see a circle, none of that signifying whether this is a rare one or not. Uh, this is a real Pokemon card, right, Rotom V? I'm still learning how to detect real cards from fake cards, so forgive me. I'm new to this trading card stuff. But let me know in the comments. This is all the information on it. And this is the back side. So let me know what you think. Yeah, it's gotta be bad when you actually collect Pokemon cards and you can't tell real ones from fake ones. <laughs> but I'll learn. I'll just have to do more research or something. Okay, so next card. Wow, this one's pretty. I, I, this was definitely a gotcha card. Yeah, this has a star, so I know this is definitely a real card. Wow. It's really cool. Love the hunk row. Gonna put it aside. The next card, oh, Eevee. I love Eevee so much, I'm not kidding. Literally, I want to just collect so many Eevee cards. And there was an Eevee card I didn't have last time, but I didn't even bother grabbing. I kind of regret it a little, but I try to stick with one card per visit, usually. So I don't overdo it with the spending. So this is the information, if I could get the screen out for a circle, so it's common. So I guess it's a common card, but to me it's more than just common. It deserves three stars for certain. Anything with EV is just awesome. I treasure all of these EV cards. They're my Paldia treasure, anything related to Eevee. So the next one, <gasps> another Eevee, that's right. Someone literally just, I think someone just gave away a bunch of Eevee cards that day because I got like three. I got the Dynamax Eevee, the one you just saw, and now this one, it's so adorable. Look at Eevee, so happy. And their cute little village full of collar. Oh, I love it. And, um, circle. Common. I don't think this is common. It can't be. I don't know. It's just I never get Eevee cards from box sets, from packs. How are these common? I never come across them unless I search for Eevee individually at just local um, trading card joints. So this is so cool. I love this CB. It's so pretty too. It's reflective. It's super nice. Yeah, I love the EVs. Two more cards to take a look at and I'll find a place for them in my card album. <gasps> Another EV! Wow, I really hit the jackpot on the EV cards. I have no regrets. So this is Eevee. Looks so cute. 
This artwork is beautiful. And it's a circle again for common. How is this common? It looks so nice and pretty. How is this common? I have no idea, but I love it. I'll have to just dedicate a whole page to just Eevee at this rate. Oh, I love all the Eevee cards. So, let's see. Next and final one is the Regigus I was talking about earlier. So, yeah. Regigus is one of my favorite legendaries. As a kid, I just remember really liking Regigus for some reason. Even have a cute little plush of them. So cute. So cool. I liked Regigus. I don't know why. I just do. That's my f favorite of the Regis. Everyone will talk about the other Regis. But what about Regigus? That's the best Regie. At least I like them. So, um, I'm gonna put them aside. So that's all of my recent card pulls through gotchas and just buying these cards individually at local trading card joints. So, I won't be saying where exactly I got these because I like to keep that information concealed, but they're really nice cards. You could probably also buy cards individually like this at your own local trading card places. Just look on Google Maps wherever you are. See what's around you. Because you might get lucky. You might find a place that sells trading cards. So yeah, I love these cards. I think they're all legit. I can't tell with Rotom. The only thing, every single card I've shown on screen says a rarity. Heck, even this Pikachu. This is probably a real one because the circle I'll show everyone right over here in the very corner if it'll just focus has a circle right by the description of it has small electric sex on both as a circle, I think that means common, right? I don't know. It's hard to really tell with this one because it looks different from more of these modern cards, but I'm just suspicious of this Rotom V. It says promo, but I do not see any circles, any stars telling how rare this is. That's a detail that is missing. So it makes me wonder if this is a fake Rotom V. I mean, it's shiny like a real card. It looks like a real card. It even says promo and all that info, but... I don't know. I It's either that I'm missing something, or it's not a real one. But I'm still trying to learn how to distinguish fake and real cards from each other. So just let me know what you think in the comments as far as that Rotom V goes. As far as the rest, I'm pretty sure the rest are actually legit Pokemon cards. So it'll be cool. I'm going to put all this in here. I'm going to show everyone. Okay, so I finally put my cards in. So I have all these really nice V cards and slots. Just put the new ones in over here. They look really nice. Have a little nice section for all the Eevee cards to go. I'm hoping to find more Eevees. I'm definitely going to go hunting for more Eevee cards eventually. I just need four more slots for nothing but Eevees to be on here. That's crazy. Each card of these Eevees are shiny reflective. It's awesome. So I got all these cards. This is the album I'm working on right now. This is the album I'm working on right now. I still need some slots in my previous albums filled or reorganized, but this is the one I'm focusing on for brand new cards for most of the new ones. I got the Benel. I got Penelope over there next to Dialga. Found a McDonald card for the 25th anniversary of 
Dioga. Got him through a gotcha machine. It was really awesome. Got some of the new cards over here. Along with b Doof and my X card. I just remembered something as well. I got a Gyarados card to the Coridon Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Center training box. And everyone online says it's worth $30. I wonder if that means the card I just got right over here is also worth $30. Rockruff Evolution Lycanroc. But either way, I'm not selling these cards. I don't collect them for nothing. I collect them because I like collecting them. So, it's really cool. Plus, when you get rare cards, it kind of just makes your album even more special. It's just fun looking back on all the good memories. Cards you've obtained over the years, it's really fun. So, I'm having a blast filling this out. I filled out my other one really quick this year but i'm trying to take my time with this brand new one so yeah that's my new trading card book and that was all the cards i've been buying through gotcha machines and just individual cards where i'll just look at them and be like okay i want this one and i'm able to get it so it's pretty cool some card trading card joints will just sell individual cards and you'll be able to just ask how much it is and if it's in your budget you could do it the ones i get aren't very much it's only a few dollars if not less so it's pretty awesome so i don't do trading card videos as much as i used to but i still like to do these videos every now and then because even if I'm not into Pokemon trading cards competitively, like player versus player playing the actual trading card game, I just enjoy collecting the cards and putting them in an album. I have fun doing that with them. So thanks for watching. Hope this video was enjoyable. Be sure to like and subscribe.